Hi there, folks. Welcome back to the IB and Andy Fishing Channel. And uh, uh, hello, stranger. Hi. <laughs> Where have you been? I've been just out of keeping myself out of trouble. You've been catching a few fish? I've been catching a few fish. And I'm sorry for the slacking in the vlogging. I did an Andy on you. Sorry about me. But because it's locked down and I've been only going fishing for a couple of hours each day, I didn't feel it's worth it. My fish are not worthy of filming. You see, Andy can go out for a couple of days and he will catch 10 fish and he will go, oh, I feel like I should have done better. And I'll go catch two fish and I'm like, yay, best day ever. <laughs> Just not worthy of a vlog. But you did creep out with your first trout session of the season? Yes, I did. Times two. Good uh, job. You can tell that by my hands because I was fighting through brambles. And I had my first trout and I had my first dry fly fish of the season as well. Unfortunately, it wasn't a trout. <coughs> out of season. Mm, out of season, greatly. I didn't <laughs> know. <laughs> but you are getting some fishing done. That's cool. Hopefully, we'll see you on the channel at some point in the future. Well, you guys tell me, are you missing me? Or is Andy pulling his weight? Is he mega boring? Because I do feel for you. If all you had to watch is him waffle around. Oh, no. I have a feeling the comment section of this one is going to be a real ego hit for I'm me. I'm surprised people are still watching this channel, to be honest. I wouldn't. <laughs> on that note, guys, thank you very much for joining us again on the channel. Really appreciate it. Uh, as you probably guessed from the title of this particular video, we've got something pretty exciting to share again. So you guys gave us a huge amount of support this winter with the grayling packs, the clear water and the coloured water grayling pack, which uh, just sold so much better than we we're, ever imagined they would do. We were blown away. Absolutely blown away. And it's been so great this last, what, three months? Mm. Getting uh, emails, DMs, all that stuff, stuff in the comments section. People saying they've gone out, used the packs, and have caught fish on those flies. That feels really freaking great, doesn't it? And totally justifies the whole exercise. And someone even framed it. On their yeah, own. someone's actually poor a couple and just framed them because they thought they looked nice, which is really freaking cool. <laughs> but we've been asked a lot ever since we dropped those packs. Are you guys going to do a trout pack? Uh, IB, what have you got in your hands there? A trout pack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a new logo as well. Yes, yeah, we need to talk about the new logo. So we struggled to design a new logo for ages and got in touch with the very, very talented Ivan Orosh, who took an idea that we had and made it into something freaking awesome. So thank you very much to Ivan. Check his website out, I'll put that in the description box. But IB, with no further ado, you need to show the people what's in the IB and Andy trout pack. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Ah. <laughs> now imagine from there no one can see anything no it just looks like a load anything. of blurry stuff so basically what what we did was we sat down and we were like right what are the 10 grayling fly the 10 grayling flies there we go i'm so oh. i've still not caught up with the season what are the 10 <laughs> what are the 10 trout flies that we cannot do without and we basically had a row for about two weeks it was just an yeah. argument to the point where instead of doing let's do our 10 favorite Trout flies, it was right. Let's do five favourite trout flies each. each. So what we've got here isn't so much a box of trout flies. It's more of a domestic dispute made out of fur and feathers. Yeah. But in the end of it, actually, I think we're both really proud of how it's come out. It's balanced really, really nicely. There are four nymphs and six dries. It's a pack that I think you could use right the way through the season. We wanted to make sure these are flies you could use right the way through with confidence. We didn't want, could want to go for anything that was like location specific. No. A pack that basically everyone in the UK can pick up, go out and fish, and have confidence that these are flies that are going to work. More importantly as well, like you said, throughout the season, in different scenarios, in different situations, I don't think we both ever not have one of these flies in our trout pack. The upshot of this was that these are 10 flies that are always yeah. with us. These are 10 flies that you guys, if you've been watching the channel for a while, have seen us use, and I think that's really important. This, this, isn't, this isn't a fly selection that we've just dreamed up off the top of our head. These are the flies that we use in the vlogs, and you'll have seen each one of these flies and over the past two, two three years. When we say we were trying to narrow it down and fighting a lot, like we literally were drawing the flies out, saying what flies we used, and then we narrowed the list down, down, down to the top, top, top flies that we could not live without. Yeah, and, that, and do you know what I think we got there? I think these are the ten flies that we definitely use the most. So what we're going to do is we're going to work through basically IB's five and Andy's five. We'll go fly by fly. We'll talk about what it is, why it's in the pack, and give you guys an idea of what you're getting when you buy the IB and Andy trap pack. So IB, your first fly is going to be Nymph. Yes, so the first fly is size 10 Peeping Caddis. It's a brilliant point fly, especially for trout and especially in the, the moment and in the summer. Even if the if you find a deeper hole and you think that's where gonna be the, tr the trout are going to be, 
you can stick that on a point fly, put a red tag or a quill gel or whatever, something tiny on the, on the dropper, and it will work magic. Do you I know already what? caught trout on this 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 trout season. Yeah, absolutely. Do you know, I was really surprised, and I think I said this at the time, I was really surprised you put this one in initially, but then actually, the more I thought about it, the more I think that actually that's one of the most important flies in the box. Mm, you have to have a point fly. You've got to have a point fly, and that is a brilliant point fly. It's a fish, it's, it's a fish catching point fly. It is, fly, yeah, it that's is. that's so important. It's a fish catcher, absolutely so my first fly, talking of fish catchers, I mean, this, this, this is a fly. Anyone who's been on a guided day with me will recognise this fly straight away. This is an orange butt PTN. This is a size 14, 2.8 mil bead. And this really is probably my favourite nymph anywhere in the UK. Everywhere I've taken the orange butt PTN, it's worked. It, it's a classic pattern just with that little flash of colour. So if you're fishing rivers that have got a little bit of colour, like the Dove does, like the Derwent does, uh, Northern Freestones, it's brilliant. But it also works down the chalk streams as well. It just that little dash of colour on the butt brings something to this. We've put a CDC collar on there. It's quite a heavy CDC collar, so you can pull some out if you want to, get it how you wanted. It's mobile, there's movement, there's colour, there's natural shape. All the way through the season, absolute dead cert. My next one is size 14 ref tag. And again, everyone, especially people following me on Instagram, you will know I love a bit of a red tag. And I just, if I was to pick two nymphs, I couldn't leave a red tag out and that's 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 it, a red tag, I love a red tag. It works everywhere, it does the job, if trout fe season finishes it will work for grailing as well. A top fly. There were certain flies in this box that we had a bit of an argument about but this was probably one of one of the few flies that Easiest we would have both picked. Yeah. You've, got, it, you've got to have a red tag, it's as simple as that. So very very simple one that one, uh, a real simple one for me, size 16 CDC quill jig. Again, deadly, so natural, it looks right, it's got a CDC collar, so there's movement on there, it's heavy enough, it's got a 2.4 mil bead, 2.5 mil bead, natural quill body on it, nice long tails, great profile, and actually, so far this trout season, even though we're only a few days in, that thing has been slaying for It's been a winner. Us. It's been a winner. That's been, our, that's been the fly so far, hasn't it? We've caught a lot of there fish on that There was a moment on Saturday where Andy had two fish and two casts on that same fly. It, yeah, it, it just worked. You can't go wrong with that. It's yeah. natural colours. It drops nicely. A little bit of flash from the gold bead. And don't, don't get scared away of the size of it. I know it looks tiny. Honestly, the trout down mine, they still eat it. it. It's a great representation of so many different olive and beta snips that you can't go wrong with that. Good fly to side fish with? Yeah, I reckon so, absolutely. If, you, if you're in shallower water or in clearer water and you're targeting an individual fish, of the, of the four nymphs that are there, that's probably the one that I'd throw first if, if it was heavy enough for the situation, yeah, definitely. Okay, move on to the most important fly of all. <laughs> uh, and it's my size 14 phone done. Who doesn't need a phone done in their lives? Honestly, guys. There was a period last year when the season started where I tied a foam down on and I fished for about a week and a half to two weeks, but I never needed to retie the fly. And Andy kept saying, check the tip head, at least change the tip head. I'm like, it's fine, everything's fine. And I never needed to change the fly. You were always like, I will use that fly early in the morning, we'll use that fly in the afternoon, I will use that fly in the spinner full in the evening. <laughs> it was just one fly the, the, I used. You went through that period where you fished like every day for nearly two weeks mm -hmm. and you only ever used that one fly. One fly. And not just one pattern of fly, one that particular fly. It was ridiculous. Literally and you'd come back, you'd be like, yeah, I had 20. Yeah. Yeah, I had 15 tonight. Yeah, I caught on the lath kill, caught on the Y. It was crazy. I, do you know what? To, to a certain extent, you, you have put that foam done out there in, into the wider world. I know it existed before you were using it, but you have really made that fly into a massively Everyone, popular fly. It's needs lethal. Foam it's lethal. That's another one of the flies, actually, that we would have both chosen. Yeah. We'd have both put that in. Size, so yeah, in size 14 as well, so it'll do as a large dark olive, it'll do as an olive upright. At a pinch, you get away as blue winged olive, but to be honest, it works right the way through. It, it just works. It's a foam done. It's, yeah, it's you a, have to have it. It's a great fly. Uh, on the subject of great flies that you have to have, my next one is a fly that I use a lot for prospecting. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I chose this one, actually, is because unlike some of the other dry flies in it, this is a fly that you really can like, throw underneath the trees when there's nothing happening or through a slightly deeper riffle. It's a size 14 orange book caddis. And a couple of things about the dressing on this fly. First off, we put quite a lot of CDC underneath the wing. But when I make this as buoyant as possible, it's a dead, it's a deadly caddis pattern with that orange butt. But it's really important if you're throwing it through riffles and stuff like that, that it stays up. So in conjunction with some decent floating, and we both use Hunt's original, don't we? Yep. The powdered stuff. In conjunction with some good floating, a nice heavily dressed uh, size 14 orange book caddis, 
will keep it'll stay on the surface yeah. it'll ride the waves it's brilliant right the way through the day if you've got a period where it's gone quiet and you've got caddis around great fly to throw or especially if you're on the water like some of the water we have where it's dry fly only yeah. and there is no hatch and there's no fish rising perfect fly for you to do some prospecting it just gives you a chance water. doesn't it yeah, it just 100%. gives you a chance uh, a quick note there's two caddis patterns in the box we on both of them we've put a pink sighter uh, so if you're fishing these late into dusk if you're fishing them through heavy riffle or you're fishing them in weird light or if you're as blind as me or if you're as blind as i be you'll be able to see them but if you don't want that, if you, if you don't want it there, if you don't need it there, you can just cut it off. But we wanted to give you guys the option of having that pink sighter. Yep. Uh, and let's move on. So the next one is a size 14 olive upright done. And that's a fish that uh, I did really extremely well early season last year, straight after lockdown. It's a fly actually that I, I think it's like my one first dry fly that I tried to learn well, how to tie, Well, isn't we, it? we made a vlog called We Only Needed One Fly or yeah. The Only Fly We Needed. And we, we caught so many fish on that during that olive upright hatch. And that, that's a hatch that will, will happen on most rivers in the UK, the olive upright. So, so you expect those at any time from the start of May to kind of the end of June. But actually that worked beyond then as well. Yeah, yeah. It'll do in later in the season as pale watery. It's got a nice pale body to it as well. So it's actually, again, quite a multifunctional fly that. But you, yeah, you did really well on those last season early. And I will say, it's quite buoyant as well. You can take some trashing. You don't have to keep dressing it all the time. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So there's there's three turns of hackle either side of the wing that's been trimmed off underneath so it sits flush. But because it's got that hackle on, again, it will take floatant really, really well. So yeah, you're absolutely right. It's a good fly. Over rough water, a good fly. A very similar fly in terms of pattern, but not necessarily a similar fly in terms of what we're trying to represent, is my next fly here, which is a size 16 all-purpose olive. It's a very, very non-specific fly. Because of that, it's deadly pretty much right the way through the season. So size 16, nice dark olive body, nice long straight tails. Uh, two turns of hackle in front and behind the wing that we've trimmed down, so again, it'll ride the water really well. This'll do as an imitation for an LDO. It'll do at a pinch as an imitation for an iron blue. It'll do for a blue winged olive. So when you look, when you talk about those three flies, you're talking about 90% of the season. And again, because it imitates so many different types of olives, it's going to work everywhere in the country. You know, this isn't something that's just going to work in one corner. It's going to work absolutely everywhere. If you've got any of those three bugs, all three of them like we have here in Derbyshire, that thing's going to imitate them. And my last one is a size 16 CDC and elk hair caddis. And it's, so it's another uh, caddis pattern, and it had his. His is a lot bigger and fluffier, I would say mine. Would still be good for prospecting, but perhaps in a bit slower, calmer water. Um, but again, has a little sighter in it, so you, it's easier for you to see. And it's just, I think, my fly is better than yours, Andy. CDC and elk, you cannot go wrong. Again, this is one of the patterns that we would have both put in. It's, it's just lethal. And like you say, probably not as buoyant as mine. But when you when you've got those fish, you know, sipping on uh, elk, uh, uh, sipping on elk, si si sipping on caddis, maybe. <laughs> maybe so in, I want to see that fish. <laughs> maybe in slower water and stuff like that, or maybe if you just haven't, you, you don't need the the buoyancy of of the fly that I've put in there. That thing's going to be deadly. And again, the pink side post is great if if you're fishing in dusk, which a lot of yeah. people will do with a caddis. If you want to cut it off, you can. But we wanted to put that on there. And it will work all the way through the season. I used this fly quite a lot last year in September, just before the trout season finished, and it worked brilliant. Yeah, well, if you've got caddis, they're going to eat a CDC yeah. and out caddis. It's such a broad, generic fly when it comes to the different caddis species. It will work the whole season through from basically now until the end of the trout season. You'll be catching fish on that thing, so. Grayling and trout will love them. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, great grayling fly as well. Good shout. That brings us to the last fly of our trout pack. But not least. And they're definitely not least. Certainly the smallest fly in there. But again, anybody who's been on a guided session with me, particularly on the Derbyshire Y, will recognise this fly. It's a size 18, subtle done. This thing is deadly. Would you know when you've got those fish and you're like, I just can't work out what it's eating. You can't see anything on the water. I just can't work out what that fish is eating. Put that on because it almost always rises me fish there are some very very technical areas of the y where it gets skinny where it perhaps flattens out a little bit and you get fish sipping this thing catches them at, at times when I'll, I'll be honest some of the other flies in this pack might not have worked on those fish that little subtle done it catches them there's not a lot to it. it's two tiny little uh, cock de leon tails that are split little mole for a body, little bit of CDC for a wing. Again, it takes a little bit of dressing, a little bit of floating, so, so keep applying floating to it. That thing is lethal. And actually, like a simple fly. Yeah, I think, I think the, the big fish I caught from the Y at the start of last season 
was it's on, a big rainbow in it. Yeah, was on one of those. I've had clients catch so many fish on that thing. It is tiny, it is delicate, you do need to dress it. But I'll tell you what, for those fish that are sipping lethal, and actually something you touched on earlier, also very, very good in the evening as a spinner pattern. That's it? I beat, there we go. That is that is going to be our trout pack, the trout pack that we kind of run for the whole of this season. To be honest, we're going to try and keep this one in stock as much as possible. Uh, just like the grayling packs, these are available to buy through the web shop. They're £45, recorded, posted to your door, free of charge. We're paying for the postage, IB. How about that? It's me who's paying for the postage. <laughs> so yeah, please do check those out on the web shop. We said at the start, we're massively grateful to everybody who has supported us on the web shop and we wanted to try and find a way of giving back to you guys who have been buying stuff from the web shop. So we've come up with something that's gonna be really, really cool. Basically, every single week from, from when this video goes live until the end of the trout season in Derbyshire, so October the 7th, every single week, someone who has ordered something from the web shop is gonna be selected at random and we're gonna send you something cool, free of charge. Uh, we've already got quite a lot of stuff. We've had support from different manufacturers. We've got fly boxes, we've got bits of luggage, we've got our own caps, we've got lines, we've got all kinds of cool stuff. Basically how it's gonna work is every time you buy a product off the web shop, you effectively go into a raffle. It's gonna be drawn at random, but that means that the more individual items you buy, the more chances you've got of being the person who has won that week. Uh, and this week, we're gonna give away uh, courtesy of our friends at Witchwood, one of their duo hook hole boxes. Brand new, really, really cool. You've been using this for I the start of the season, haven't you? Yes. How have you got on? Uh, I actually really like it, and my most favourite part of this is that I get to have my own little foam done drawer. <laughs> <laughs> it's just amazing. It has foam done. It's that important that it needs its own slot. But I really like it. It's brilliant. I used to have um, like a double-sided box. Um, and it always used to wind me up a little bit that I would try to get it into one side and the other side would flop open and then the flies go right into the river because I'm not the neatest with my flies. Usually they just go loose. You just throw them straight back I in, don't you? I throw them straight back in and then I will sort them out a year later. I really, really like that this, the two slots here, they are magnetic. Mm -hmm. So I can just throw the fly in without trying to fiddle around into the slot and they will just lie in there. Um, so I think that's my favorite part. And the fact that I can keep my all the, all the um, nymphs and my dry fly separated, I think it's a big bonus. It's just right for a day's fishing that, isn't it? You get plenty of flies in there. Yeah. So there we go. So we are literally giving away free stuff every single week for the entire season. All you need to do be to be in with the chance of winning one of the Witchwood Duo Hookhold boxes. Buy something from the web shop. Every time you buy something, you're buying an extra chance to be the person who wins something cool that week. Apart from that, that's it, I think. Yeah, we need Guys, to... Guys, thank you so much. Honestly, we were overwhelmed with the grayling packs and with your nymphing and all of that. And the fact that you, most of you stick throughout when we were without the website, without the shop, <laughs> going through emails. And yeah, thank you so much. We're very, very grateful. We're going to try to continue to not only keep the web shop topped up and all the stuff in stock, but keep bringing out new, engaging, interesting videos as ever, please do give us some ideas of the kind of stuff you'd like to see us make going forwards. We're trying to do different stuff, stuff like the streamers. We're certainly going to do some more lure fishing once we can get back into that. This is your channel. Tell us what you'd like to see and we will try our very best to make it happen. We will do a live stream yeah. for like a beginning of the season. So stay tuned for that. Keep an eye out. We'll, Andy will make a community post on YouTube just to let you know or follow us on Instagram or on Facebook and see we will post, we'll always post it there. Yeah. But apart from that, I'm really hungry and I have a pizza waiting for me. <laughs> Bye guys. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I mean, I will see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.